raining for days My world is a flood Slowly I become one with the mud Hi everybody, this is Zach Walker And this is Matt Vaughn this is, uh, this is me totally driving right here, doing a fine job I'm pretty bored so I'm sitting up front with the camera And uh, this is what's going on behind us We just ignored most of it, tuned it out and so did Jeff. <laughs> Turn your head, I need to see the other side. None of us knew what to expect. Yeah. <laughs> Especially Christy. <laughs> Thomas is always a source of amusement on the bus. We're all having fun. No idea what to expect. And, and we've been on this bridge for an hour because we're this bridge goes over the swamp before it gets to New Orleans. And we're just tired and we want to get there and finally finally we see land I remember being on that bridge so long that it felt weird to be back on like to be surrounded by land again here we go down below sea level Damn. first time we've been on land in like an hour wow so the freeways around New Orleans are most of them are elevated and so this is one of the views around it and you can see all the tarps on the roofs and, and I think it's a little hard to see when you're driving by here but um, like there's just nobody's around in, in some of these parts and these houses by and large are just abandoned um, and you know damaged particularly on the inside because of the flood water I just you know this image always gets to me yeah check out that boat <laughs> and you see all these blown out windows and again it just you see how much water pressure was probably yeah. sitting up against those windows it just totally blew a lot of them out some of those are pretty nice cars. None of them are nice cars anymore. No. Nice indeed. <laughs> but then on, on all these houses, there's a marking on the front, and it's done in spray paint. It just it makes it look like nobody's lived there for years and like oh that's got for sale sign in the yard. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> no there's sense. there's the boats. This is amazing the quiet in these neighborhoods. And, you know, I never realized either that you don't see the piles of trash sitting out in front of many of these houses. It means they totally have not been checked in terms of cleaned or gutted or anything like that at all. Yeah. Overgrown yards. Yeah, that's about ten and a half months after the hurricane. And I just happened to be walking down the street. Listen to the silence here. There's nobody around. And I see this house with the door wide open. And so I walk up and I see this. The furniture's just thrown and by the storm and you see the water line on the wall and none of that was caused by people. That was all caused by water. And then all the houses had this X on the door which means that the house was checked. Here we are at our house. That's that my house. Cleaning. I just noticed that they have a, a total sign up there for a security system you know I think you know we definitely live under a false sense of security a lot of the time nature comes along and has a total disregard for any of these things that we uh, construct to protect ourselves Mike and Alex tell me what you guys have been doing in here today well, right here. all right right there <laughs> you guys are really <laughs> What have I been doing, have been doing all day? Right here, this horn is what we've been doing all day. This, this right here is called the sheriff. Where'd it go? It's my best friend. I will say you definitely worked Here's with the tools enough that it was worth naming. Oh, he's in there. <laughs> yeah. He's coming out. He's pretty pissed off. <laughs> he's having a rough time, it looks like. Yeah. Oh, he can't get out. He'll get out in a second. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, Lauren over here. Hard at work. Hello, Miss Lauren. Doing the most tedious job of all of the individual jobs. What are you working on? Taking all the nails out. Uh, I swear there are like 50 nails, in, at least 50 nails in every single uh, yeah. stud. And, and you can't put new walls up until all the nails are gone. 
Well, and if I remember right, we say it's uh, a company will come and do that for you, but charges you like a thousand or two thousand dollars to take all the nails out. Oh, wow. You will not be the only insect to die in our house today. Here comes the sheriff. This is the sheriff. This is some hammer, I think. <laughs> I think that was the deputy, actually. Yeah. Right, right. That was the deputy. There you go. Okay, watch, watch Jenna. <laughs> nice, nice job. Nicely done. Okay, so we go to my house. This is the, this is the house where my crew was working. And we're a little farther along because I think this is the day after that. And, and just look at... Moose has taken this this rubble out. Just look at the size of the piles of trash that we pulled out of this house of rotted walls and plaster. It's amazing. That's, that's all part of the house. You know, that's not like stuff that's throwing out. That was all, yeah, walls and, and just part of the house that's totally ruined. A lot worse today than it was yesterday. Hmm. Aaron's pretty sweaty. It was pretty hot. I remember my jeans being completely soaked through as though I had gone for a swim. Yeah. Not that you would go for a swim. No, but you felt like you had. But you felt like you had. This is the Mississippi River. We're on our way out of New Orleans, and we're heading over to Mississippi, to Biloxi. And they suffered more. Well, you can see this building. There was a 30-foot wave that took out the first two floors of that building. And there's the ocean right there. Just everything in its path was destroyed. You know, some of these views just remind me, it's, it's almost like seeing hurricane or tornado damage and how almost selective the damage is. That some buildings are utterly torn down and other buildings seem to suffer very little damage at all. And then you see this bridge, which you'd think a bridge would be pretty solid, especially made of concrete. But the 30-foot swells just took it out like dominoes. And this road <laughs> Thomas is sitting on. You think about just how much is involved, not only in just uh, building a new road, but in cleaning up what's there. How do you get these huge chunks of road out of the water? Yeah. You know, how do you clean that up to even begin to rebuild it? Here's my favorite clip coming up. The whole it's movie. One of, one of my favorite <laughs> clips of all time. Sam Bennett. Oh, Sam. It was really hot. A swim would have been refreshing. He falls back in. Well, the, there's so much algae growing on it. It's so slick. Oh, and that yeah. concrete, again, has been sitting in the water for 11 months. It was an amazing trip. Something I'll never forget. I think particularly just some of the images that you see. that the, You're not used to seeing that destruction anywhere, let alone in the United States. It was a hot day. It was a hot day. 